and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you the story of the invisible man written by H.G. E. Wells as prescribed by the class 12 CBSE syllabus. So let's get started. Chapter 1 The Strange Man's Arrival Our story begins one chilly February morning in a snowstorm when a stranger who was fully covered from head to toe arrives at a place called Coach and Horses which was an inn at a town called Epping in England. The body of the stranger was fully covered and he hid his face with bandages, spectacles, napkin and his head. The stranger was well strange but he had some money. So Mrs. Hall, who was the innkeeper, gives him a room to stay. Still, she is surprised by his appearance and assumes that this guy was in an accident. Chapter 2 Teddy Henry's First Impressions Mrs. Hall, the innkeeper, asks Mr. Teddy Henry, a clock mender from the village, to fix the clock in the stranger's room. Unfortunately, they entered without knocking. For a moment, Mrs. Hall thinks that the stranger has a giant mouth, but he covers it immediately. The stranger tells Mrs. Hall that he would like to be left alone because he was weak due to his accident and he was a scientist conducting a scientific research. Henry grows suspicious of the stranger and wonders that maybe he is wanted by the police. On his way through the village, Henry runs into Mr. Hall and tells him, there's a weird guy staying at your place. This gets Mr. Hall a little suspicious about the stranger. Chapter 3 The Thousand and One Bottles the next day, stranger's luggage is brought from the station by a man named Phil inside. The stranger has a lot of luggage including boxes of glass bottles cushioned by straw. Phil inside also has a dog with him which attacks the stranger and rips his clothes and trousers so he rushes back to his room while the villagers are hanging around the luggage gossiping. When the unhurt stranger gets the boxes, he starts unpacking all of his bottles and gets back to work immediately. Mrs. Hall enters into his room without knocking once again and catches a glimpse of him having hollow eye sockets. But then he puts his glasses on immediately. Mrs. Hall fusses about the mess that he is making but the stranger just tells her to bill him. Later on, Ferenside and Henry gossip about the stranger. Ferenside says that he had seen stranger's black legs, but he is also having a pink nose. Maybe he is colored like a piebald horse. In this way, we come to the end of first, second, and third chapter. Thanks for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our channel. Thank you.